What's happening team? Liam from Lazarus Personal Training. In this video, I am going to document my first session back wrestling and my first session back in the gym. Um, so despite what I said in the video, I've managed to wrangle a spot at a wrestling centre, a wrestling training centre, uh, with a couple of people. One of those is Ella. Ella, say hello. And then we've got a uh, the excellent team of Crash Boat joining us. Um, so I'm actually getting some wrestling training in. And then Monday, I'm back in the gym with clients. So I'll be training on Monday. So I thought it'd be really interesting to, to document what I do. Obviously, I'm filming this before I've got there. Um, who knows what might happen. Um, so this is just going to be me reacting as is. Um, I've got a plan for what we're probably going to end up doing, but that might end up changing. And then... Oh, that's is that is it you? No, it's not, it's not me. Oh, okay. I've got a plan for what we are going to do at the uh, wrestling ring, um, and then we'll see what ends up happening. And I need to structure what I'm doing going back into the gym. So yeah, Jake's on his way. Um, so Jack? let's see. So we've just finished that session. I think we're all a little bit sweaty. We're all a little bit hungry. We're all ready to go home. How do we all find the first session back? Very good. Incredible. Hearty. Yeah. No. Good. I think we're all sore um, and we'll see how we're feeling tomorrow. This is the day after our first wrestling session back and I won't lie, I woke up this morning in bits. My lower back feels incredibly heavy, my neck feels incredibly heavy. Not really one for headaches but I definitely feel like I've got a bit of a headache. Um, I had a nice warm shower earlier on so that was that was nice to actually like release some tension through that. So yeah I mean it was it was a really good session. I really enjoyed it. It was good to get back in the ring again. And one thing that I like I will pick up on with that is that we went to wrestling training to wrestle, to hit drills, to hit moves, to do a match. That's the whole reason of wrestling training and that's where wrestling training differs from gym training. And yes, we could have put ourselves through like a card workout, but then I could do that at home. But I can't get into a ring and run the ropes at home. So we need this difference between what our gym sessions are and then what our wrestling sessions are. And once we get back into normal again, those wrestling sessions will differ. But then you also need to ask yourself, if you go into a wrestling session and they're just blasting you, why are they blasting you? Because really, should you not just be able to do that at home? And also, are you taking the onus to do that at home? So that's a little side point out of it. For me, I really enjoyed being back in the ring again. Felt good. Um, I'm not feeling like I've completely died today, but definitely feeling it, definitely feeling the effects. So the body loses its callus, and this is just the first step into getting the callus back. Who knows when I'll get back in the ring again? I'm hoping fairly soon, but it's all a bit of a guessing game at the moment, so we shall just wait and see. But yeah, as a day after, feeling pretty all right. The next thing that comes is my first gym session back in the gym which i haven't got anything planned at the moment i actually don't really know where i want to go with it so i need to sit down work out what my goals are work out what i want to be achieving and what i feel comfortable with doing when we get back into the gym again and then 
push forward with that. So yeah, we'll we'll see where I'm on that. But overall, wrestling training, good. I feel like this video isn't finishing the way that a, a video should finish. You know, it, it feels like it should end up on a positive note, um, and it's it's sort of not. Back into the gym first session to walk you through what I did. Hit some warm up stuff, um, some of my general sort of bits and pieces. Managed to get some band dislocators back in again because I've not been able to do those just with not having space for it. And then I did a bit of activation stuff with med ball. So that was a med ball good morning into some med ball jumps, into some med ball passes. Seven kilo ball to get a hip engine, to get some jumps in and to get some throws in, just to pump the body a little bit and just to get some blood flowing through. So like one of the down points from the session, I guess you can call it, is that the pre-workout that I bought is rubbish. Uh, USN B4 or something like that has a horrendous like a horrendous cherry like after bitter taste to it that just isn't isn't particularly good one of the things that we probably need to take into consideration when it comes to the gym is the environment that we're in um, one how you're reflecting on the environment and then two uh, what the environment does to you because i'm conscious about what other people are doing a lot I particularly won't see the people that are sanitizing stuff, but I will see the people that aren't sanitizing stuff. And at the moment where we're being asked to just wipe down equipment, the fact that people aren't on day three and being back in the gyms again is just, it shows what sort of person you are. So if you're watching this video, please wipe your stuff down. It's really not hard. That's your rest and recovery time, really, between two exercises. There is nothing that means that you have to go from one exercise straight into the other exercise. To touch on programming, uh, very much a hypertrophy session, leg based. I hit some dumbbell goblet squats, um, worked out well. I hit a warm up set and then I did um, 35 kg for four sets of eight reps. Pretty okay, feeling all right. I just wanted to get that squat pattern in with a slightly heavier load than what I've been using. Then went into some Bulgarian split squats and a leg extension machine. If I'm being completely honest, I don't particularly like the leg extension machine. I don't think it's particularly well designed, but in the effort of trying to keep things condensed, I used those two things together uh, because that's sort of what we've got to think about doing at the moment. Then hit some cable pull throughs and some power presses. I like a cable pull through. I think sometimes people can't get in the right position for it, but I quite like it. Loads up the posterior chain in a slightly different load. Um, and as an accessory movement, it's quite nice. And then hit some yoga ball planks because my core work has been particularly lacking at home. I kept it quick because I've got things to do and if anything, I'm, I'm running over a little bit now doing this video. And there's some changes coming up, or at least I'm expecting there to be some changes more to do with the environment um, in, and how I work out best. But overall, I do feel like the difference between my wrestling session, my gym session has been two different ends of the scale in terms of my wrestling stuff. Really enjoyed it, came away from that, really positive, really buzzing. And whether that's just, I don't put as much value into the gym, whether that's a case of I've not programmed how I would get excited to get programmed about, that's not a sentence. Yeah, I just feel like maybe it is just a case of me being too aware of what's going on around me. So to round this out as a question for you, how have you found your first sessions back in? Were you overjoyed to get back in again? Were you a little bit like me where it was a bit of a, almost a bit of a somber moment? Uh, let me know in the comments below. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel because it massively helps, you can hit me up on Instagram at Lazarus underscore PT and I will see you next time.